Okay, today we're going to talk about quadratic equation. So when you see quadratic equation, we have the equation of the form x squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So this is the standard form of our quadratic equation. So for a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. In this case, we have the degree of 2. So a quadratic equation has a second degree equation. Okay? So we have exponent or the highest exponent is 2. So for example, we are going to determine if this equation is a quadratic or not. So what do you think? Okay? So this is not a quadratic equation. Why? Because we have 3x and the degree is 1. So we have there the variable x, exponent is 1. So that is not a quadratic equation. How about this one? So as you can observe, we have the highest exponent 2. We have 7x raised to 2. So we have quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation. Okay, how about this example? So first observation is it looks like a quadratic equation, but in this case, we have to simplify this one to determine if it is really a quadratic or not. So the simplified form, so we're going to subtract 11 to isolate x squared. So 11, subtract 11 on both sides, so we're going to have x squared equal to 11x plus x squared minus 12. Now we're going to eliminate or remove x squared by subtracting again x squared on both sides. So we have the answer is 0 equal to 11x minus 12. So we have the degree of 1. So 11x there has exponent of 1. So this is, this is not a quadratic equation. Okay, next, how about this one? So first, we again, again, we have to simplify this equation. So simplify the left side. So we're going to have an answer of it x squared minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. So again, we're going to apply our FOIL method to multiply this equation. Okay? So this would be your quadratic equation because we have an exponent or the highest exponent is 2. Okay. So in solving quadratic equations, we have this method destruction of roots. For example, x squared minus 4 equal to 0. So what would be the value of x that would satisfy this equation? So first we're going to isolate the variable. So we're going to add 4 on both sides. So this is under your additional property of equality. So negative 4 plus 4, that would be 0. So we're left with x squared equal to 4. After which, we're going to apply the square root on both sides. So we have the square root of x squared equal to plus a negative the square root of 4. So square will be cancelled. So we have x equal to the square root of 4 is 2. So we have plus a negative 2. So that would be our roots. So x the roots are 2 and negative 2. Okay, another method in solving quadratic equation, we have factoring. So for example, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. So what would be the values of x that would satisfy this equation? So first step, we're going to find for the factors. So we have the factor x plus 2 and we have x plus 3. So we're going to have this original equation, if we're going to apply the FOIL method in here. And another way to check that one, so if I'm going to multiply 2 and 3, that would be positive 6. And if I'm going to add 2 and 3, that would be positive 5. Okay? Next, we're going to equate the first factor to 0. So that is the first factor equated to 0. And I'm going to isolate x again. So we have to subtract 
2 on both sides. So 2 minus 2, we have 0, so we're left with x equal to negative 2. So that is the first rule. Next is the other factor. We have x plus 3 equal to 0. And the same process, we're going to isolate x by subtracting 3. So 3 minus 3, that would be 0 again. And we're left with x equal to negative 3. That is the second rule. So the rules here are negative 2 and negative 3. Okay, next method we have the completing this square. So for example, we have x squared minus 4x minus 5. So we're going to transform first that one into this form. x squared plus bx equal to negative c. So all you have to do is add 5 on both sides. So negative 5 plus 5, that would be 0, right? So we are left with x squared minus 4x and 0 plus 5, that would be 5. Then after which, we're going to follow this pattern. So x squared minus 4x and a plus a number, the same with the left or the right side. So to get that number, we have this formula. So b here is negative 4. Divide by 2. And then the quantity is squared. So negative 4 times negative 4, we have 16. 2 times 2, we have 4. And 16 divided by 4, we have 4. So we're going to put or write 4 there. After which... We're going to factor this side. So what is the factor of x squared minus 4x plus 4? So we're going to have the factor x minus 2, the quantity squared. And 5 plus 4, we have 9. And then we're going to get the square root of both sides. After which, the square root here and this Exponent 2 will be cancelled. So we're left with x minus 2 equal to plus positive and negative 3. And then we have to get the values of x using this equation. Okay? So we have the next step x minus 2 equated to positive 3. So add both sides by 2, we have x equal to negative, uh, positive 5. Next, we have negative 3 here. So we have negative 3, and then add positive 2 on both sides again. So that would be x equal to negative 1. Okay? Shout out po kay Sir Absalon Dulagan Sabit. Siya po ang nag-discuss sa topic na ito. And thank you very much for watching this video.